couple of people have asked me about Sturgill Simpson's rhythm playing, which is quite excellent. He's got a heck of a right hand. <laughs> And what that style is, that's Carter style, that's, that's bluegrass style strumming. So, you know, for, forgive me if this is rudimentary to you, I'm not sure, you know, there's a lot of people out there, all different levels, so let's take a look here. I am playing a G chord, uh, that is, notice I like to do it bluegrass style. Um, if you don't do your G chord this way, I highly recommend that you start. Uh, it enables you to do all the... all these things inside the chord that unfortunately this lovely G chord that we all grow up learning, uh, it don't. <laughs> now your basic bluegrass drum is a boom, chuck a boom. Uh, these are technical terms. Boom, chuck a boom, chuck, boom, chuck a boom, chuck, boom, chuck a boom, chuck. If you're not familiar with that, yeah, it's a great pattern. Make sure you can see my hand. Okay, yeah, you can see me. Yeah, notice I got an alternating bass going. And I'm, I'm separating root note, twinkly notes, alternate root, twinkly notes. Everybody's separate, and this is really cool. It lets you hear all the notes a lot clearer than, you know, we, we learn strumming as... Which sounds good too, but it's a different thing. It's a lot clearer to get that... A lot more piano-like. Now it's all well and good to do one chord, but whenever you learn a concept, it's always good to take it around a one-four-five progression in that key. So C is the four chord in the key of G. So again, boom, chuck a boom, chuck, boom, chuck a boom, chuck, boom, chuck a boom, chuck, boom. boom Boom, chuck. And then we got a D chord. D is an interesting one. Well, we'll do it the standard way first, then we'll discuss alternate options. Boom, chuck a boom, chuck. There's our boom, chuck a boom on a G. Uh, sorry, a D. So this is your first step to getting the crazy awesome Sturgill Simpson rhythm techniques. So G up to a C and then a D back to G. And I had um, a friend of mine or a cousin in Norway ask me about forget a particular song, his next level beyond this, he's going boom, chuck a hammer on it. So that's boom, chuck a hammer on, chuck a boom, chuck a hammer on, chuck a Really do a hammer on to a D, so I don't bother. You did notice though, you can start to get creative with your bass notes. not simple that's crazy uh, let's switch keys for a second because I think life of sin which someone asked me about is an E as is blue eyes crying in the rain Oof. So if you're not familiar that with that in that key, we got an E chord and I got my boom, chuck a boom, chuck, boom, chuck a boom, chuck A. 
I like to do my A if I'm down low with these three fingers because, oh, I can't fit these three fingers in there. So I use uh, two, three, and four. Boom, chucka. Now my other boom is going to go down. Boom, chucka, boom, chuck, boom, chucka, boom, chuck. Same thing, B7. If you don't know this one, two, one, two, zero, one. Ah, two, one, two, zero, two. My boom is going to go back and forth too. Now that's not actually the you know the the form of the song, but it is those three chords. And again, you can do neat things with the hammer-ons there. You'll see him do it too. It's all about once your hand gets used to this kind of this kind of dance that it's doing across the guitar, it, it becomes really easy to, to just keep it going and start to have different walks and connections between your chords. Um, but it all starts with, you know, slowly just chilling out. What's that remind me? Oh, it's making me think of that White Stripes song. What is that? Hotel Yorba. Uh, well, I hope that's helpful for you. I, I, I hope that that, that makes sense. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, and thanks for watching.